Hi, this is Kai from New Electronic Frontier and today I'm going to unbox the CP1A High Performance Power Supply Module for Eurorack from Behringer. So Behringer just brought out uh, its new line of Eurorack modules, which is quite novel after all the synthesizers they brought out. And um, this is, is a power supply unit. The up front, I have to say, the incredible thing about this one is that it comes for short over 50 euro. I guess I paid 52 euros for this unit. So compared to other power supply units on the market, you can roughly say that's about half, if not less. So um, I mean, the units I use or I have um, are around 100 bucks, depending on what they have. And this one has like 3000 million pairs, uh, which is quite high, actually. Most units have like 2000s. I also have um, from TipToy, I use the Microsoys, and this comes with a normal power supply unit. It comes with 2000 million pairs. And if you buy a booster power supply, that's an additional 35 bucks, I guess, then you also can get like 3000. So did I anyways need 3000 in my life? Um, I don't think so, to be honest, but um, yeah, it's nice when you need it. And uh, also, um yeah to have a little you know you know backup <laughs> a little backup power here so let's see so box on normal here it states it's for 230 volts so if you ever grab this somewhere from a shelf check for it You see it's oh I mean packed in a lot of foam so yeah, nothing can happen to this one I guess so let's check if there's anything underneath that yes there is so what could it be power supply let's put this away so this is the usual Behringer quick start guide and uh, the sticker you pr probably have some of those. Let's just unpack this guy here. There's the flying bus boards. And the rack screws. So, most boring part first. Okay, pretty standard cable, which is <clears throat> nice, this is the one with a flat uh, plug, so goes easier into the racks. Then we have the actual power supply. Looks, I mean, it's actually the uh, same as with the tip top booster. They also provide one like this. But what Behringer did great is, and you can't see this because it's longer. I, so this must be about, well, I guess, roughly 80 centimeters a meter. So this is nicely done because much easier to, you know, arrange on your shelf. So this is first great thing to see. And then we have like standard flying bus boards. With two, six, seven. Seven. Seven makes sense actually. I mean, sometimes you just just get like this five plugs, but seven for a power supply like this makes total sense because you you know you have forty modules, you have three thousand million pairs, you can easily get like forty modules going, I guess. So let's see how the module is. So I like the packaging. So it's I mean it's not shiny. <laughs> Like this is super shiny products, but it's so well packed that you actually know that there's nothing gonna hurt this thing. So brushed metal plate, looks nice to me. Solid switch. You can see nicely arranged everything, everything's in place. There's a lot of space in between. 
which also makes sense for a power supply to uh, actually have some space because usually these things get warm. And um, I must say the build quality is, is really nice. I like it a lot. So very stable everything. Great. So the flying bus birds go in here. And here we go. Here is our unit. So then let's actually put this in a Euro rack where it belongs. So I have a skiff case here. plug in the cable. Okay. Also this cable, the connection cable is quite long. Now I've used the nurries also. I don't I think you can yeah yeah you can see right yeah so nice blue lamp so uh, <laughs> i like it actually in blue because it's you can see it when it's under your desk but it doesn't shine too bright right so so let's get this one in here so use it usual position somewhere not at the core but more at the outer fittings so Slightly slide it. So now we go. Are you kidding me? So this has nothing to do <laughs> with the power supply, but more with my rack. happens if you have a self self build rack <laughs> it's a prototype so it doesn't fit a hundred percent so off let's plug this in and here we go so nice green LEDs same um, I actually like it when it's not red uh, because you know most modules have red LEDs for um, showing um, you know status and stuff so i actually like it when it's green or blue because it doesn't doesn't actually um bother so much so let's see we should get power anyways so let's check comes out of these guys so that's always a bit tricky to have so So this one and this one should be 12. So actually my measuring device is quite old, I must say. So I get pretty much the same values for um, when I measure with the tip toy. So, oh here, here's 12 again. So, And here's five. So five volts, 12, and minus 12. Yeah, that well, looks good. Looks good to me. So, and one last thing to see is actually this one, right? So those bus boards, flying bus boards really like are long enough, even if you even if you have a case that's deeper, this will fit with like every module connection. Okay, so that was it. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. And um, I can actually really recommend it's a bargain price. Um, easy to install, good components. And um, yeah, that's it. That was Kai from New Electronic Frontiers. 
So um, if you enjoyed it, come back and uh, subscribe and we will have more of this stuff coming. See you. Bye bye.